I was just finishing high school when Watch Dogs 2 was shown at E3, and it was the beginning of an interesting time, and today we're going to go back and visit that time. Now, I was 16 when watching E3 in 2016, and it was a really cool time. The first time we saw Wrench, I was blown away by it, and I just had to make my own mark on it and try and make my own version of the mask. The trailer was released in June 2016, and by the end of October that year, I had built my first mask. I never said it was good. Oh boy, look at him. 17 year old dated. So young, so short of hair, didn't know really how to make videos or clean his room. Don't really know how to make videos these days, but we'll leave that out. But we can break down this mask really easily. Prior to making this mask, I had no knowledge of how electronics worked, or Arduinos, and I still don't really now. But here it is, the mask, made from a good number of zip ties. And that's it. The whole mask was almost solely kept together with zip ties. I took it out to Play Expo that year for a test run, and it held up surprisingly well. This image didn't age well, did it? But there was some small issues. Sight. I couldn't really see much when in the mask, pretty much having to be guided when walking around. I had really limited view. The mask was so, so hot. Like, so, so hot. Using two full Arduinos strapped to my neck, two massive panels on my face. It was going to conduct heat, no matter how you put it. And finally, comfort. This was the worst, because the number of zip ties and the weight of the glasses, it was insane to try and balance the mask on my face. Likewise, powering the Arduinos separately meant I needed to trail two massive cables down my back between my shirt and my hoodie to power the bar in my back pocket, and that was just a nightmare. But as the price of LEDs came down and the masks around me got better, I knew I had to try harder. I had to go bigger and better, and I did. I made a video about this a few years ago, and it did quite well, like a thousand views, good. And for me, at that time, that was the first video for me to do well. I'd never experienced videos going that high, and it was insane. It was kind of almost overnight these views came to me, and it was amazing. The next mask was almost fully inside. It was all inside the mask. Like, there wasn't much outer wiring. I went for two smaller 8x8 LEDs and an Arduino Nano. This mask wasn't as bad. It had a better line of sight. It was more comfy. I had padded the backs of the LEDs so it rested on my eyebrows. And the heat? Well, you never really fix everything, but it was certainly an improvement. And this mask was a lot better. It was still a pain to get on, but it looked better and it felt better. And that, that's really all that matters. I got to test run it at EGX Res the following year, and EGX clearly liked it. This was a cool moment. I took it back to Play Expo again the following year, but didn't really get any photos of it. And from there, it kind of just sat on the shelf, quietly humming to itself. The Arduinos eventually got repurposed for other projects as I got older, and it kind of faded away. I still have the t-shirt and the hoodie got lost. I should bring it back at some point. And that's it really. I was going through video ideas recently with a friend and he recommended me to touch on it. And who knows, with Watch Dogs Legion coming out, I might make something else. Something bigger. Who knows? Now, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Good night.